Oh, hi. Today we... Today we're going to talk about two of the stupidest words that have ever been put together and misused in uh, recent memory. Here. Stop saying you have imposter syndrome. Because you don't have it. No one who is using that term applied against themselves. You guys don't even know that it actually has an origin from the 1970s in America. There is an article written by the Harvard Business Review. It's called Stop Telling Women They Have Imposter Syndrome. Go read it and then never use that phrase against yourself ever again. Thank you. Let's continue. If you think you have imposter syndrome because you're doing something new for the first time and you're putting all this pressure on yourself to perform and you're asking a lot, a lot of money for people to hire you for your services and you're not quite sure this, that, and the other, blah, 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 just relax, please. You're going to be fine. Because no, seriously, you're like literally not doing yourself uh, any kind of favor because that's negative self-talk. And if you're a coach, who's trying to especially help people stop doing negative self-talk. Do you, do you see how weird that's going to get? Because, yeah, you're not a fraud. You're just new to this. And if your heart's in the right place, then your heart's in the right place because you have an option. You, you literally do not have to apply that phrase to yourself. Did you know that? Did you know you could do that? Did you know that your subconscious hears literally everything that you're saying, hears everything that you're thinking, and if you keep thinking it, it's going to start thinking that you're really like that, and a vicious, horrible cycle of self-abuse will never end until you hire another coach to help you with your imposter syndrome. You see how that works? So stop. I beg, stop doing it now. Okay, you're welcome. I'll, I'll send you my cash app for that little bit of therapy right there. Look for it soon. But wait, is there a dark side to this? Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, here. If you're a coach and you're talking about having imposter syndrome and you're like saying that out loud in your, in your, your little Facebook, your little area there, and you're kind of saying it without any analysis because you, you don't really know its origins, are you an imposter because you don't feel like you deserve to be doing what you're doing to help people? Or do you really not want to help people and you just want to help yourself to their, um, their credit card numbers? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. I'm not accusing anyone of doing that. It's just something that was kicking around in the old melon. Okay, that's all right. I'm done. I'm going to go do a little more homework, and then I'm going to have some dinner, and then I'm going to derp around on my phone. And I will see y'all later with another one. Mm -hmm.